I'm going to go over a couple of the extrusion options. Most people just use the definitive dimension when they're doing extrude, but I've got an, uh, a garage here that I've just created. If I roll this back, you can see how we made this. If you drag the end of part, you can go through piece by piece. So what you can see here is I have created the main external walls of, of this garage building. I've then put a pitch roof on it. Uh, and then if you look in here, you'll notice that I've added the first floor. Now, what you can see is I've got a gap here between the two where I've created the pitch roof. And you can see how I've done that by drawing a sketch here and, and extruding that along. So what we're going to actually do is now fill this gap using the extrude tool. So what we're going to do is put a sketch on this face just here. And then if we push E for extrude or you can finish sketch and then click extrude. You can see it's automatically picked that up as the only profile. Now, if I wanted to just put a dimension of, let's say 500, this is gonna go, but I'm gonna get all of this additional geometry that I don't need. So what you've got in here is you've got a few different options that you can actually take advantage of. So at the moment you can see the profile it's selected and the sketch plane. And then what we've got here is distance. And if you hover over these, you can see all of them. So through all will kind of go forever. And in this case, it's gonna hit the end and that will hit for us so that is a good option a lot of the time when you're using cut you would use through all to make sure that no matter what happens with your geometry it will always go through all of that the other one you can use here if again if you hover over it it's two and then it asks you to select the face so what you can actually do is if I just rotate around I can say this is the face I want to go to and you can see it's going to go there that's going to be difficult here and not give us what we actually need and then the other one you have is two next which is change that back to add geometry rather than subtract to next is typically the one that's most commonly used because you don't have to kind of think about it or select a face uh, and through all um, also sometimes it has solving problems but to next typically always picks up what you want to do and then it will fill that gap in for you and you can just hit OK and you can now see that you filled that gap and if we compare that to the other side you can see that and then of course it's a single piece of geometry that looks exactly like this will in the end which is nice and easy to edit you've got it over here in extrusion you can right click and edit feature so that's using the different parts of extrusion tool I've used to next but you've also had a quick demonstration of how the others work and I'll create some more videos showing how those other ones work and in which instances you would use those. Hope that was helpful.